now to the 911 calls from inside the Orlando nightclub. The FBI releasing the chilling transcripts of gunmen of the gunmen talking with police as they work to take him down and save the lives of the hostages inside. ABC's Lindsay Janice has more in Orlando now for us. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Amy. Police tried to keep the shooter talking so they could come up with a plan to rescue those hostages. And this morning, for the first time, we are learning what the gunman said to them. This morning, authorities releasing partial transcripts of Omar Mateen's phone calls with police in the middle of his massacre. Mateen calling 911 at 2.35 a.m., telling the dispatcher, I'm in Orlando and I did the shootings. Why the killer made these murderous statements, he did so in a chilling, calm, and deliberate manner. When asked his name, the gunman responds, my name is, I pledge allegiance to Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi of the Islamic State. Authorities initially redacting that pledge, but later releasing it, caving into criticism. 13 minutes later, hostage negotiators call Mateen, speaking with him three separate times, one call lasting 16 minutes. You could hear him saying that the reason why he's doing this is because he wants America to stop bombing his country. Mateen at one point threatening police with bombs, saying I'm going to ignite it if they try to do anything stupid. Then silence. He stopped answering his phone. Police killing him in an exchange of gunfire around 5.15 a.m. Now families of the shooter's 49 victims laying their loved ones to rest. I never thought that. <laughs> Her life will be ended right in front of my eyes. <laughs> Isaiah Henderson was saved by his own mother. She was killed jumping in front of him, shielding him from the bullets. She loved everybody equally, <laughs> no matter what. I haven't stopped crying since. <laughs> Police have faced criticism for not going in to get those hostages sooner. They say they use that time to get survivors out of other areas of the club and to come up with that plan to bust through that wall. David? All right, Lindsay, thanks. Just no shortage of heartache in this story. Thanks.